Cereals, such as wheat, are vital crops for both food and feed. Spike architecture influences grain yield in wheat by three major components – spikes per unit land area, grains per spike, and grain weight. An increase in any one of these components can improve grain yield. The number of grains per spike can be physically and genetically dissected into two subcomponents – spikelets per spike and grains per spikelet. A normal spike can generate between 16 and 25 spikelet nodes. And within a spikelet, grains at the first and second positions are larger than those at the third, fourth, or higher positions. Therefore, understanding the developmental pattern of spikelets within a spike provides the opportunity to increase grain number without decreasing average grain weight. In this paper, we report the map-based cloning of a quantitative trait locus for the number of spikelet nodes per spike in common wheat. The gene causing the quantitative trait locus is the wheat COL5 gene. Constitutive overexpression of the dominant COL5 allele in a wheat cultivar increases the number of spikelet nodes per spike and produces more tillers and spikes, thereby enhancing grain yield in transgenic plants under field conditions. We found that a single amino acid substitution in COL5 resulted in differential protein phosphorylation by wheat K4 a serine threonine protein kinase that we identified as a key protein-protein interactor of COL5. Using CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing technology, we showed that the wheat COL5 transcription factor modulates multiple traits, such as flowering time and plant height. We found that the COL5 gene originated from the tetraploid wild emmer wheat, but it exists in only 2% of accessions in a global collection of modern wheat cultivars. The cloning of the wheat COL5 gene offers a new route to maximize yield in wheat 